you know, we told you that there's no such thing as winter. All right. Um, the calendar wasn't created as far back as the Saxons say it was. All right. Calendars, something within the last, excuse me, 60, 70 years, maybe 60 years, somewhere in there. They had to create a calendar. All right. The calendar had to be created because they needed to, it was, it was like we said, you know, they divided the days because they needed to know when the solar storms hit the worst. The so called winter time. All right. They found ways to create devices to change the atmosphere. And of course, just like we said, they, they use the devices made from our bodies because they realized that it's our bodies. We are, we are a manifestation of this planet, this realm. And they found ways to create um, technology through computers from our bodies that can link into the ionosphere and that could change the temperature of the realm. Of course, they tell us, you know, we, we, it was like, you know, I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, they say they spray this stuff and, and whatever that stuff they spray, it pulls in the heat that goes into it, that comes from the atmosphere and turns into coal. That's literally our bodies. That's particles of our bodies that they use to change the temperature. Now, when you start getting into what's like October, November, December, January, February, March, on that area, this is when the solar flares and the solar storms are the worst. That's why we have all that heavy winds, all that blowing wind, blowing, wind blowing real hard. And we were always thinking that it was the Saxons creating the wind, but it was actually solar winds. So what they did was they used these devices to cool down the temperature for their survival, what they call winter. All right. You understand that? So when it starts getting like, like now is what, according to the calendar is September. And we got solar, uh, solar storms, Corona mass ejections and the CMEs, the solar storms are like back to back to back to back to back. It's like, it's, it's on and popping. It's been happening like this for a long time. It's just that now we're just catch, catching on to it. And now we're in this awakened state. We still, you know, we're starting to catch on to it because now we're starting to understand that these motherfuckers don't belong here. But at the same time, they don't have nowhere to go. At the same time, they want to stay here because they need to gather as much resources as they possibly can because it makes them feel like they're powerful. All right. It literally makes them feel like they're powerful. It literally makes them feel like they have achieved something by gathering resources, gold, silver, diamonds, um, uh, rhodium, um, platinum, titanium. I mean, the, 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 the crystals and the minerals and the metals, you know, it makes them feel powerful because they come from a planet and a universe where they didn't have these, what, what they call luxuries. They call them luxuries. And so many of our brothers and sisters have fallen victim to this word luxuries by saying, oh yeah, I got this and I got this and I got this. But I'm like, we supposed to, this is our planet. This is our realm. We're supposed to have it. This is something that's natural. That's we naturally are supposed to have this because we create technology with all these different things. And then because our bodies are so powerful in nature, we're able to cast energy through our bodies. So, you, uh, you know, we we talked about this. You know, we've able to, we're able to, able to cast energy through our bodies. We're able to push energy. We're able to move um, the forces. And we created a system uh, like a, a, a land bank computer system where the energies will go across the land and, and, and we can tap into those energies in a given time. 
And that's what made us most powerful. All right. And that's why we talk about building, you know, building and creating because, you know, it's, it's, it's so it's so important. But what they call wintertime, this is actually the time where they learn how to control the atmosphere through our bodies. All right. And this is when the most powerful solar flares, the most powerful solar storms come through. And they're scared of the energy and they die. Just a little scientific history. It's a little science behind it. This is what it's all about, brothers and sisters. They're all about survival. Energy is getting higher and higher now, which means that, 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 that we as the original beings, this is why we're talking about dark energy, the darkness, because the dark energy literally sets things in balance. We can create devices that send dark energy into the, into the atmosphere. We can create structures that sends that energy from the ground into the atmosphere. You know, that's how it works. So we got a lot of work to do, but at the same time, you guys need to understand, understand, understand this whole thing about winter. Come on, oh yeah, El Nino, El Nino, El Nino. That's what they said. We already established that El Nino, El Nino means little boy. All right. They know we established that. The El Nino means little boy. All right. So what we have to do is we have to be able to carry this over to a next level of energy. We're going to talk about that because we have we have the power within us to literally control entire galaxies. It's within these bodies here, these vessels here. We have the, the power to control entire galaxies. But we got to get serious about this. We're going to go deeper into that science a little later. All right. So just wanted to share that with y'all. So this whole thing about winter. They have you know, these devices that's made from our bodies. They, they, they had to create the devices from our bodies because there is no other way for them to create. They've created so many devices and it didn't work. When they realized that that we were the, that that it's our bodies that link into the ionosphere. So we can create these microwave things, but it's made from melanin. And we connect it to the computers and then we use the melanin connect to the ionosphere, which is nothing but melanin to control the temperature on the realm. Which means that we got to destroy this shit. But first, we got to build ourselves up. I mean, we can destroy it. We can destroy it. We can destroy it. But first, we got to build ourselves up because what if we don't destroy it and we learn how to control it discipline is the most important thing for us brothers and sisters gotta have discipline because we can control this our minds our minds are like the most powerful supercomputers ever we just have to apply ourselves extremely powerful beings we are the whole winter time is nothing but we told, we told you we, uh, uh, we told you before there's no such thing as winter if you want to look at if you want to say whenever it means death you know why is it death because they, they die that type of energy kills them so they had to create a calendar so they can divide the days so they can know when this 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 um energy hits the hardest and then it hits when does the energy hit the hardest october november december january february parts of march this energy hits the heaviest this is like a cycle that it goes through. It's a cycle. And they're scared. They're scared. Because they get to the point where now they can't control it. Because it's becoming chaotic. All right. This is the science behind the science of everything that they do. As far as the weather. All right. We got to we got to we got a lot of shit to do, brothers. We got to get serious about this. All right. Catch you guys later.